Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Uh, first of all, uh, let me uh, uh, express my uh, deep sadness uh, for the loss of uh, our professor, Professor Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman, uh, one of the uh, contemporary Muslim thinkers and scholars of very high caliber, uh, a person who combines in himself the virtue of the deep Islamic scholarship and also deep Muslim scholar with the character and the adab and the akhlaq of uh, a alim, a scholar. Uh, brothers and sisters, in this uh, occasion, uh, I would like to uh, mention a few things about the uh, some of the deep ideas of uh, Professor Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman. I thought it's good that people uh, and researchers, postgraduate students, scholars uh, uh, give attention to this side of the thought and thinking of uh, Professor Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman. Uh, in fact, um, one of the important ideas uh, of Dr. Abdul Hamid uh, is his approach to Islamization of knowledge. His method of articulating Islamization uh, of knowledge. Uh, and, and I'm very sure that uh, Abdul ha Professor Abdul Hamid, uh, Hamid's thought will be rediscovered in the uh, coming years. He will be rediscovered and people will learn and know that his ideas on Islamization of knowledge um, and integration of knowledge are more uh, practical, uh, are more dynamic, and are more responding to the changes that are happening uh, in our communities, in our societies, in the Islamic world, and in the world in general. Brothers and sisters, Professor Abdul Hamid, understanding of Islamization of knowledge is a very deep uh, understanding. He uh, uh, link it to the socio-cultural uh, and the political uh, religious context of the development of Islam since the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam onward and the moving of the Islamic civilization from the period of Khulafa uh, al-Rashidun and then we enter into the Umayyad um period and then the other periods. He noted that uh, there is a deep, a deep split, a deep change happens in the Muslim personality. A deep change happens in the Muslim mind. A deep uh, change happens in the Muslim culture. And that uh, change which happened in the Muslim personality, uh, Muslim uh, thought, Muslim thinking, Muslim methodology resulted in the split between the institution, the political institution, and the Fuqaha institution. Means there was a rift and a very deep split uh, in these two pillars uh, of the Islamic society and the Islamic Ummah. That's why the concept of Islamization of knowledge to Professor Abdul Hamid does not only reflect the epistemological, methodological side, but also the educational, the personality side, the value side. That's why in his book, uh, of uh, the crisis in the Muslim mind and later on his book uh, when he speak about um, uh, uh, insane man uh, uh, and also he spoke about al wijdan and he spoke about tarbiya and education uh, he he reflected a very integrated uh, concept of islamization uh, which is not only that aspect of uh, reforming the methodology reforming the thinking and the mind and uh, using the islamic epistemology to reproduce new knowledge and also uh, critically and methodologically assessing the contemporary knowledge and the traditional knowledge in order to produce new knowledge, uh, Abdul Hamid links all this 
to the concept of the people, the person, the education, the personality, the wujdan, the emotional part, the spiritual part, the ethical part, the character part, especially the psycho-emotional part. So um, Islamization uh, to him is not only we uh, focus on epistemology, on the uh, principles of methodology, but these things should help us to understand how to rebuild an educational system that can target a new personality, a new Muslim personality, which is dynamic in terms of intellectual, uh, emotional, uh, behavioral, uh, uh, and ethical, moral, social, political, and so on and so forth. So, brothers and sisters, it's important that we revisit the um, uh, concept of uh, Islamization in Abdul Hamid Abu Suleiman thought, and you will find that uh, to him, Islamization is not like a static concept which uh, definition stays as it is since the beginning. No. To him, uh, Islamization of knowledge is just a stage in our intellectual development, in our epistemological development towards acquiring the competencies and the skills that they will allow us to reach a level of ijtihad. That ijtihad will help the Muslim personality to develop knowledge based on the idea of what he calls al-asala al-mu'asira the contemporary originality. To him, there is no need to uh, uh, re, 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 um, uh, claim the whole Islamic heritage or reclaim the whole Western uh, knowledge or no. It is all these are stages in the development of Islamization of knowledge until the Muslim mind reaches a level where we, it can perform ijtihad and then become competent to do ijtihad based on the Quran, Sunnah, and our heritage, and the contemporary knowledge. So we create that synthesis and that synergic thought. In the end, uh, the, the, the concept of uh, Islamization uh, with Dr. Abdul Hamid, uh, the, the, the stage of epistemology, methodology is a stage, but there should be another stage where we can produce what he calls the sciences of civilization. And to produce that one, we need to build the new Muslim personality. So uh, I conclude saying that the concept of Islamization uh, is dynamic uh, and also it uh, encompasses many aspects leading to building a new Muslim mind that can be mujtahid and can introduce and produce knowledge based on the sources of Islam and responding to the realities of our time based on this concept of Asala Muasa. With this one, I thank you for listening. May Allah bless you all and may Allah subhanahu and wa ta'ala bless the soul of our uh, professor Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman and grant him paradise. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.